I'm changing my mind and uh, with all of my concerns I just realized that what I need I need to have the controller to be able to get access to both of these windows so now I'm, ch I'm going to rearrange what I just did as follows instead of having main main app right here creating new controller I'm going to cut this out okay from main and instead do this in view main in fact do this right here create the controller class directly in the main method of my main window because this main view is going to be made visible anyway and this main has to be invoked so instead of doing this work in the uh, controller constructor I am going to take out this view main uh, call right cut this out and position it inside main app so main app main simply delegates the work to view main view main uh, uh, object and look uh, inside my main app I also have the arguments right so if I want to continue uh, to maintain the arguments and be able to process command line arguments I can actually pass them right on to my main window main method okay so uh, so this is the change and so the change that I made once again is that I'm concerned about the threat safety and my decision is that when I call view main main right and pass these arguments there uh, view main right here main uh, is going to invoke later something and that something will first create the controller okay so it will create the controller um, but I definitely want to create um, the, the, the view main, right? And I definitely want to create the view history. Um, and that's what it takes to create view history. Right? Just say new, new history uh, right there. And uh, so I can create both of these windows. Don't make um, don't make the um, the history uh, the history window visible. Instead, I can say view history um, um, uh, view history uh, and capture the object reference history equals uh, new history. Uh, likewise, uh, view main um, I can do a uh, view main uh, view main. Uh, equals new view main and um, then I'll make it visible next right so here I can say just uh, if I do want to make it visible I can just always say view main uh, object to make it visible and of course I need the semicolon here uh, but uh, typically everything that I make visible should go to the bottom of this code because I really want to make everything and only at the end make the window visible so I create both main and history windows in this um, in this call delegated to invoke uh, uh, to be invoked on the event dispatch thread the run method which is managed by uh, by main method uh, um, uh, uh, inside the view main .java. okay so this is so now look what I have I have view main right I have view main I have view history and I also create the controller and now that I have uh, I create new controller I already know that my controller definitely needs to have access to both of the windows therefore I can say controller NYR take view main right take view main reference and also take view history uh, reference right so I can modify the constructor of the controller uh, class so that it takes a reference to both of these windows that it has to manage so now I can obviously go and make sure that uh, my controller does have the constructor Right, so right now its constructor does this, but I already uh, changed my mind. And instead of saying uh, this time, instead of saying create both windows and make main view visible, this comment should go to view main and say there that uh, basically the ID is this. 
uh, right? So back to the, so most of the work currently is done inside view inside the view main uh, main method, and so far what I've done is create the main view, create the history view, create the controller, give the controller constructor the references of both to both windows, and then view make view main visible. Of course, my constructor has to take uh, a view main right a view main. <coughs> uh, view main, uh, as a parameter and of course uh, view history a view history also as a as a parameter view history right um, and I want to store these references in my class right so I'd like to have private Right? I'd like to have private view main uh, reference and I'd like to have likewise private uh, private view history uh, reference. And of course this constructor, uh, I want to use my constructor for, right? so these are my constructors, it could be multiple constructors, these are my data attributes, right? uh, or simply attributes uh, in my class. So now uh, I would like to simply populate uh, this uh, view main uh, equals uh, view uh, main that I was giving as a parameter and likewise this dot um, view history equals uh, view history. Okay, so at this point, at this point, what uh, should be happening is that I have constructed the main view object, I have constructed the history view, I have constructed the controller, I'm giving the controller references to both, uh, to both of the windows, and then um, uh, at this stage, at this stage, um, view main, uh, what uh, view main does, it, uh, it does all of this, and it's uh, basically deciding to make uh, uh, the main uh, window visible. I can keep this here or I can move this line to the controller because the controller has now access to, uh, um, uh, to the window and it may decide what to do. So let me, do, do, let me actually make this change. So instead of having this main method inside view main, instead of it saying uh, main, main set visible, instead take this out of here, control X, and paste this into the controller constructor. Basically just do this, view main set visible. And, uh, uh, and uh, what I'm trying to demonstrate with all of my changes and, and, and uh, decisions that I sort of like made on the fly is that mm, perhaps I want to keep everything as small and as short as possible at this level uh, which belongs to this uh, initial, you know, kickoff start of everything. So if you think about it, this is uh, my main class. It calls view main, its main method, which was generated by NetBeans because it's part of the window class, right? Uh, we go here, uh, we modify the, uh, the, the initial code, and so here it says, uh, let's create the two windows and uh, and then create the controller, right? And we know that the controller also makes it visible. But uh, but it's it it's not too bad, right? We have this uh, code that uh, uh, has to run on uh, the event dispatch thread because all of these objects uh, uh, better be accessed on the event dispatch thread. And so we made those uh, those changes. So let's give this a try. If you have any questions or uh, and just a note that before we run it, that inside a view history uh, class, um, the main method is now unused. I never use it. I, I don't. Uh, in fact, I can just uh, change, make change the way it was, and just um, I, I can actually remove it if I wanted to. Right? I could just completely remove this out of there. And uh, uh, but for now, I'll just uh, remember that it's not being used and uh, just leave it alone. All right, so with this in mind, with this in mind, let's save everything. 
Now let's run it. So here we go. We have uh, we have the new re year resolutions. Of course, the history uh, the history window does get created, but it's not shown. It's not visible. There is no means for me right now to make it visible. But it should exit properly if I click the X button, and it does. Right. So this is the initial setup.